Christy and today I am filming this in the middle of the night because one can't sleep and two this story time is fresh in my head it just happened a couple hours ago and I was on you now and you guys told me just to film it right now so that's what I'm doing I don't know when I'm gonna post this video but just know if you saw my snapchat story tonight that speaks for itself. If you're not following me on there, you should. The story was lit. I filmed like the majority of it, but before I just like get into rambling and all that, one thing you need to know about me as a person, one thing, I have a phobia of rats. Like I'm not kind of scared of them, like actual phobia, like can't control my emotions, can't control my body, just like shaking in terror, crying, can't handle rats. I can't do it. I can't look at one. I can't touch one. Oh God, I can't touch one. Nothing. Rats just like, no. And what's funny is I actually put that in my video for the collab channel I'm in. Hashtag seven days of slay, you know, go subscribe below. We did an intro like 10 facts about us video. And in mine, I even said that, that I have a phobia of rats. Well, anyways, I pre-recorded that. It's already up there, even though I'm not going to post it till Friday, but making this video from an incident tonight. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I feel like this would have scared the crap out of anybody. And this is just like kind of gross. Um, but I'm actually scared of rats, you get the point. One night, which was tonight, I was just at my group meeting, small group communications, had to meet outside of school for class. And then I was there at the meeting and I was telling them how I've been sick lately. So I've mentioned that in a lot of my videos. It's been really hard to film lately because I can't really breathe out of my nose and I have strep throat. Like I'm getting over a strep throat, but it's still kind of there. And so I was telling my group members that. And then one of them, she's like a mom, she's a little bit older. And she was like, do you have the same toothbrush as you did a week ago? Like, have you changed your toothbrush? I was like, no, I didn't think about that. And she's like, you're probably going to get yourself sick again if you don't do that. So I was like, got you. I'll go to Walmart or Walgreens or something on the way home. And every single time I go to Walmart, uh, it's sketchy. Don't go there alone in the middle of the night because the one in Reading, it's open 24 hours, but there is a Walgreens like right next to my house. I just didn't think it was going to be open because it was like nine something at that point, but I checked and they're open till 10. So I was like, thank God I don't have to go to Walmart. I can just go down the street and go to Walgreens. So I was going to go on the way back home, but I completely blanked and I forgot. So I went home and I pretty much just like rummaged some things together and then walked back out the door to go to Walgreens and get the toothbrushes and then come home. I was going to make dinner and just go on with my night. So I go to lock the house as I'm like going to my car to go to Walgreens, you know? And my apartment complex, it's really dark. I don't have a porch light for some reason. For a while, I thought it was just me, like mine was broken, but now I don't think any of them have it because I've been noticing that the apartment complex is just so dark. There's no lights besides like the ones right in front of the office, but it's not a very long walkway from my apartment to my car. So I don't typically use my flashlight on my phone or anything. I just kind of like walk, it's fine. I have the moonlight. I can still like see for the most part, but tonight, for some reason, I had this random feeling I just needed to turn on my flashlight, which I never do because, like I said, it's not that far of a walk. So I just had a gut feeling. I turned on my flashlight, and it was pointed at the ground. You know, when you're holding your phone, it's pointed at the ground, whatever. It flashed right onto this huge creature, like the size of my head. Looked like a gigantic rat. Like a gigantic rat. When I first saw it, I first thought that it was a raccoon, but then I saw the tail. And so, uh, spoiler alert here, it's actually a possum, but in my eyes, that's just a mama rat. That's just the same thing. It's in the rodent family. I don't care. It looks the damn same. Now, I probably have a phobia of possums after this. I mean, that, I consider that to be a rat at this point. So, it looks at me. It's beetle eyes, and I freaked out. I didn't scream, but I squealed, and I just, like, flicked my leg up. I wasn't trying to kick it, but it was this far from my foot and mind you like a week ago I was still wearing sandals but I happen to be wearing Ugg boots tonight because it's been raining lately so thank god because if I was wearing sandals and that touched me I don't know what I would do I'd probably cut off my toes and maybe I sound a little bit dramatic right now but if you know me you know that I have been deathly afraid of this happening to me for my entire life like literally whenever my friends and I go out and it's dark or something I'm just like what if there's a rat and my friends are like Ali calm down there's no rats, you're good. But rats or possums, whatever, they're all nocturnal. So I know at night they're out there somewhere. And then this one just happened to be staring me right in the face, like this far away from my foot. So when I like flicked my leg up, 
and like moved it the possum started squirming around and I thought it was gonna attack me or something I don't know I've heard like since this happened because I contacted like everybody I knew freaking out they said that they like to play dead and they're pretty calm but I don't care that thing was ginormous I mean I couldn't even handle it so I squealed I like ran away into the parking lot and I was like looking back to make sure it wasn't gonna chase me and I tried to go over to my car but then I was like what if there's another one under my car I've literally never seen one before I've lived here for like four months ish three months ish I don't know I've lived here long enough to notice that I've never seen one of those before and another car starts pulling up to me and so I'm like in the middle of the parking lot freaking out I don't know what to do I don't want to go back to my apartment because that thing's like blocking the walkway and I don't want to go to my car because I'm scared that there's one under the car which there wasn't I, to my knowledge I was fine that was the only one and we'll get to that so a car starts rolling up and I'm trying to make eye contact with the car like hey pull down your window fam like I want to ask you a question because I wanted to ask the guy like hey do you live here are you a resident have you ever seen rats here before because that one just tried to freaking attack me but he didn't roll down the window he just kind of gave me a look like you good you know have a good night and rolled past me so I was like I have no other choice I have to get in my car for safety so I like jumped into the car like I probably look so ridiculous because I didn't want to touch anything if there was like anything under the car because I'm so scared of that happening. Just in general, I'm scared of someone's cat, like a stray cat going underneath my car and me running over it or whatever. You just never know. I know animals like to hide under cars sometimes. So I like jumped into the vehicle. At this point, I'm literally crying. And so I started snapping it. So that's why I said if you guys saw my Snapchat story because I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. And I know that this is so irrational, but that's what happens when you have a phobia. Like you can't think clearly. and even now I know that if I go to sleep I'm gonna have nightmares so I'm sitting with my feet like this on the seat because I can't I, I'm scared that there's gonna be something in the darkness like in the shadows below me like by the gas pedal so it takes me like 10 different tries of like flashing my light down there to get myself to understand that it's fine to like put my feet down right so I'm snapping everything I'm explaining on snapchat what just happened I'm like what do I do I'm freaking out and I decide you know what like I still need to go to the store because it's almost 10 o'clock so Walgreens is about to be closed so I'm kind of like okay I need to hurry up I need to get over there I start driving down there I get to Walgreens and I get out of the car I go inside I get my toothbrush and I go up to the register to check out and I'm telling the guy like my life story basically I'm like dude so I have this phobia that started when I was a little kid and I'm just like telling him everything I'm like and now leading up to this very day I just saw a rat or a possum I don't know what it was but I'm freaking out man and he was just like I'm sorry he probably thought I needed help or something I was freaking out I was just like super manic like talking about it I really couldn't like that's all I could think about and the whole time I was in the store I was just kind of like darting around corners I probably looked like I was on drugs or something I don't know so I make it back out to my car I do the same thing where I like jump into the car sideways kind of like flinging my feet in there because I don't want anything to be under the car and I drive back to my apartment complex and on the way back I call my neighbor because I said in my snapchat story I was like there's no way in hell I am walking back into my apartment like I'm not crossing that sidewalk where the rat was lurking or the possum whatever that was I don't want any part of it I don't want to see that thing ever again in my life and all the way to Walgreens like before I drove there I actually went right up to where it was and I flashed my brights but I couldn't see it because it was probably hiding in the bushes like I feel like it was still out there it was right in front of my apartment like literally right there because my apartment's like right next to the walk it, it was like man the fact that it could be hiding like on my porch scares the crap out of me so anyways i drove back and i called my neighbor faith and mind you i haven't lived in reading very long i don't really know my neighbors here like at all i only know faith who lives like right next door to me like right there and then i know a couple guys who live like on the other side of the complex but that would almost be weird if i called them there's three guys they live together i only know two of their names and i only have one of their numbers so i was really hoping that faith was going to answer because i was like okay it's her or this random dude that i met literally one time but that's it like if they don't answer i'm going to sleep in my car because there is no way i was facing that thing alone so she answers thankfully and i start to explain to her what's going on like are you home dude like i really need your help and as i start to tell her she was like oh my god that's my possum and I was like, what do you mean that's your possum? And so Faith, she's a crazy cat lady, okay? There's this stray cat and she basically put a hole in the fence like right in front of her apartment that leads to like another apartment complex community. And her and like another crazy cat lady, they share this cat that like strays back and forth and they feed it. That's fine. I feel like that's relatively normal. I mean, cats are chill and everything. 
but a possum it wasn't like her pet but basically she was like oh don't hurt her did you kick her and I'm like why are you so concerned about this possum and she's telling me that this possum, which has a bunch of babies, she proceeds to tell me, AKA po little possums are like rats. Don't, don't try to argue. Little possums look exactly identical to rats with their little tail and their beady little eyes. She said that she feeds them. So every other night on her deck, she leaves food for them. So uh, uh, they keep coming back to her apartment every other night, AKA my next door neighbor, AKA they're probably on my deck sometimes. I can't deal. I can't handle it. So she was like, oh, did you kick her? She probably asked that like three times. She was so concerned for the safety. I'm sorry I'm yelling. I'm just like really pumped up about this. I can't even believe this happened tonight. She was so concerned for the safety of this possum. Okay, literally no shade towards animal lovers. I love animals. I just consider this to be a rodent and I'm so scared of them. I'm so scared of rodents. Specifically rats and possums look like just bigger versions of rats. So I, I can't handle it. I'm like scared there's like one in my house. There's not, but like, you know what I mean? Like thinking about it just messes me up. So she kept saying, did you kick her? Did you kick her? And I was just like, no, I didn't kick it. I didn't want to touch it. Are you serious? Because she was so concerned about the safety. And she's like, no, she's the sweetest little possum and her little babies. Don't kick her. Be nice to her. I'm like, dude, that thing tried to kill me. And I'm like having a panic attack. Like I wasn't anymore on the phone because I was relieved. I was in my car. It was fine. You know, she was going to walk out and hold my hand and like walk me back into the complex. I wanted someone to carry me, but obviously she wasn't going to do that. She's like the same size as me. That'd be like a little bit extra but she convinced me to like walk back into my apartment she met me out there she held my hand and walked me to the door and everything and it was fine and I made it back into my house safely but like what the actual heck like I can't fathom that I don't know if that's normal I don't get it so she and I are going to be having a long talk tomorrow because I can't deal with that if they come in front of my house again because mind you I'm such a night owl I stay up all night all the time I'm always up late so right now for example I have a bunch of trash I need to take out and like recycling because I have all these boxes and they're just sitting in my house and I really just need to take them out but I can't do that right now until it's light outside and then even then I'm gonna be scared because I don't want to walk into that thing again it was in the sidewalk slash in the bushes. It was right there. Its tail was laying out. And the fact that if I didn't turn on my phone light, I probably would have stepped on it and it probably would have bit me or something. I can't even think about that. So, I mean, because when I called her originally, I was going to tell her like, yo, we need to call pest control. We need to take care of this. And she was just like, no, it's my pets. So by the way, before I even post this story time, I'm going to let her know that I'm going to be titling this like my crazy neighbor feeds the rodents because Faith is one of my best friends. Okay. She's awesome. She's basically like Cinderella up in here feeding all the lost animals, like the rats, the possums, the cats, the birds, whatever. Like she... I can't get over her. She's so crazy. And she failed to ever let me know that she did this. That, like, the possums, that, hey, Allie, you know, since you're moving next door, I know that you're deathly afraid of rats. I might as well let you know that, you know, the rat's cousin, Possum, is going to be coming to my house, like, every night to eat. I'm so glad I didn't see the babies. I would have been so convinced that they were rats if I saw them. Um, oh, my God. Do possums eat rats? Do they, is that a thing? Because they're, like, bigger rats? Or are... I can't handle it, you guys. I'm sorry if this story was just kind of like, I don't know. Oh, that hurt. I just slapped onto my ring. That really hurt. That's probably going to leave a bruise. Anyways, I hope you guys don't think I'm exaggerating this story by any means or I'm just like trying to be obnoxious. But if there's anything I'm scared of, it's rats. Like, I'm really not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of dying. I'm not afraid of public speaking. I'm not afraid of like any typical fears. I mean, yeah, spiders are nasty. Things like that gross me out. But it's not even in the same category as rats for me. So that was my little story time tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you are scared of rats, please give this a thumbs up. If you don't like possums, please give this a thumbs up. If you think Faith is crazy for feeding those little things every single night or every other night so they keep coming back, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to seven days of slay because I post every Friday and also my channel also follow my social media. I'll have the links everywhere so you guys can go check them out and then talk to me on there and stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video later alligators. Bye.